Welcome to another video. In this video, we will continue learning pharmacology starting with antilipemic medications. The main action of antilipemic medications are the following. Aid in lowering low-density lipoprotein levels and increasing high-density lipoprotein levels. Diet, exercise, and weight control are used in addition to medication. The purpose of medications are for hypercholesterolemia, prevention of coronary events, protection against MI and stroke in clients who have diabetes mellitus. The important precautions to know are that these medications should be discontinued during pregnancy and use with caution in renal dysfunction. Side effects and adverse effects include the following. Muscle aches. Hepatotoxicity. Rhabdomyolysis. Peripheral neuropathy. Now, let's go over important nursing interventions when administering antilipemic medications. As a nurse you will want to do the following. Teach the patient to take medication in the evening as the cholesterol synthesis increases. Monitor liver and renal function laboratory profiles. Advise a low-fat slash high-fiber diet. Now, let's learn about statin medications. The main action of these medications are to interfere with hepatic enzyme HMG-CoA to reduce formation of cholesterol precursors. The common medications to know for exams are the following. Atorvastatin. Simvastatin. Levastatin. Pravastatin sodium. Rosavastatin. Fluvastatin. The easiest way to remember statins are to notice the endings are statin. Now, statins have precautions and interactions you must know which are the following. Note that there is a risk of prolonged bleeding in clients taking warfarin. There are multiple drug interactions such as digoxin, warfarin, thyroid hormones, thiazide diuretics, phenobarbital, NSAIDs, tetracycline, beta-blocking agents, gemfibrozil, glipicide, glaburide, oral contraceptives, and phenytoin. These will require you to look into the patient's medications to avoid any negative interactions. The most important client education to give is to teach the patient, do not administer grapefruit juice. The final medication to learn are cholesterol absorption inhibitors. The action of the medication is to inhibit the absorption of cholesterol secreted in the bile and from food. Often used in combination with other antilipemic medications. Common medications in this group to know is azetamibe. Teach the patient to take 2 hours before or 4 hours after other antilipemics. Also inform the patient that there is an increased risk of liver damage when combined with statins. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video we will continue the lesson by learning about medications for the respiratory system. Thanks for watching.